So I started 2017 on a hill in Poland with some crazy fireworks and free champagne. Then I flew back home to Israel in hopes of a more stable life, but that didn't really happen. My girlfriend came to visit me and I got to show her my beautiful country, Israel. We went to the Dead Sea and to the world's biggest crater. Then I decided to move out into the big city of Tel Aviv and stay in a super tiny yet cheap room because let's be real, I'm broke as fuck. I then saw the most amazing speech in a vegan congress in Israel about Sea Shepherd and got really inspired to stop that abuse from happening because the reality is that evil prevails only when good people stand by and do nothing. I then flew to visit my girlfriend in London, but we had some issues and we decided to break up. That was when I also started taking my antidepressants for my digestive issues and that was called nortriptyline. We'll get to more of that later. I then flew to Sweden to see my first icy lake and had some semla and I had a really nice time. Then I got into a relationship and flew to Sweden three more times this year. Oh, his beak is so cute! I also took a train to Denmark because it was close to Sweden and I've been meaning to check it out since I learned that the king of Denmark saved all of his Jews during the Holocaust, so I had to check it out. After that, I went to Italy on a Sea Shepherd fundraising tour with my boyfriend and it was amazing. I was in a castle in Cinque Terre, I met rehabilitated sea turtles, I went to Pompeii which was a dream of mine since Pink Floyd performed there and I was obsessed. I then faced my fear of boats and went on a night ferry which was really scary, then I went on a rib boat which was even scarier but then I drove the rib boat and it was the most fun I've had in a while and I thought to myself I can drive a boat on the weekends and be happy and I even went on a Sea Shepherd night mission and we got an illegal poaching vessel arrested it was so cool and then I finally got the opportunity to go to the US and it was fucking epic I went to a super glitzy fundraiser for Sea Shepherd. I saw Kat Von D, Pamela Anderson, Lieutenant Jack O'Neill, and even Rollo from Vikings, Clive Standen, which was like my hero. I love him. It was such an inspiring night, and obviously, I got to see Captain Paul Watson speak on stage. It was super inspiring. If you want to solve climate change, leave the ocean alone, let it recover. <laughs> and the reason for this is that this is our life support system. If the ocean dies, we die. It's as simple as that. All the other causes, all of our knowledge, everything will be irrelevant if we kill the ocean. And we are killing the ocean. I then went on a road trip and saw Bryce Canyon and the Grand Canyon and even made it to Vegas. Vegas was everything I dreamed of. I even made more money than I lost and I almost got married. <laughs> yeah, fun fact. Oh, and I went to a hot burlesque show. It was amazing. But then VidCon happened. VidCon was an absolute dream come true. I got to meet amazing, epic vegan YouTubers I love, such as Sonia Elsie, Supreme Banana, Stella Ray, Nina and Renda, and of course, Rose from Cheap Lazy Vegan, which was my roommate. And I saw some of my biggest inspos speak live. Our responsibility, but also everyone feels the fear. After Cali, I went to the birthplace of grunge, Seattle, and I got so big. <laughs> I saw the official gum wall that inspired me as a kid to collect my gums. I know, I'm weird. And then I took a day trip to Vancouver, BC, which is Canada, for those of you who don't know. And I had the best time. Honestly, the weird fries were not hot, but I loved the city, and I also got to see Sarah and Steph again. I also went to Portland and NYC, which was absolutely amazing, and I got to see fireflies in Central Park, and the Alice in Wonderland statue and a lot of other cool things I wanted to see in New York City. I had the most amazing vegan food at a vegan French restaurant, but then me and my partner already had some issues and not long after that we broke up. I didn't even let the breakup register in my head until I ended my trip in Japan. Oh yeah, a month later I flew to Japan, yeah, with my bestie Alina. That was a dream come true of mine because I wanted to visit Japan since I was a kid, but I realized I didn't want to actually live there. <laughs> but I got to see amazing temples and shrines and eat some delicious food. I had a really good time there. I then flew to Hong Kong, which was where I was supposed to meet with my boyfriend initially, but when he didn't show up, I finally realized we were over and done and I deteriorated very quickly. <laughs> I 
I didn't enjoy my time in Hong Kong, so I took a boat to Macau to try and recreate another Vegas experience. But that didn't end up well because I was stalked in a casino. And then someone on Tinder told me a super typhoon is coming and I don't know much about typhoons. I just know that a super typhoon is not good, so... I guess who's back in the motherfucking house to put a fat dick in your motherfucking mouth? And uh, that was related because I don't know. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I need to get out of here. So I bought a ticket to Thailand because that just made more sense in my head back then. But then I had to change all my flight tickets to get back home and oh, it was horrible. And I got really bad depression. And then I didn't leave my house for like weeks on end. Yay! I cried so much I actually gave myself a sinus infection. And yeah, when I went back home, the big crash happened and I then went back to Tel Aviv and my doctor noticed my heart rate was irregularly fast. I've done some scans and realized there's a serious problem with my heart and I was at risk of a heart attack and serotonin syndrome. We figured out it was from this antidepressant that I was taking in conjoined with some other medication that I was taking. And all that time, I felt like death for months without really knowing why and it sucked so I had to immediately quit my med and what do you know it was the worst rehab of my life I was so suicidal and depressed I even got catatonic for a bit one time I even fainted it had to be taken to a hospital in a fucking ambulance not fun but after a while I got better and my heart went back to normal yay but my digestion was so much worse and I'm still really really struggling with that after almost dying from a heart attack and recovering, I decided to fucking treat myself for my 29th birthday. My friends collected money for me to get a tattoo on my under boobs, and I am in love with it. That wasn't enough though, and I decided to fly to see one of my favorite bands, Him or H.I.M., His Infernal Majesty, to perform live on their farewell tour in Luxembourg. Was that enough? No sir! I then flew to Finland and stayed in Helsinki with Rosa and her beautiful family and then went to Rovaniemi, the birthplace of Santa Claus, in hopes of seeing the northern lights this year. It was by far my favorite destination of the year and I had so much fun aurora hunting and snowmobiling, mobiling, mobiling? I don't know. This time I actually got to see the northern lights and full glory and it actually changed my life. Oh my god, I'm seeing Aurora! <laughs> I then flew to Prague and on the way I decided to get a tattoo of the Northern Lights in Finnish, which is Revontulet. It means the fox's fire and I think it's the coolest thing in the world. Prague had some of the best food I've had all year and I had so much fun there. I flew back home to another post-travel depression episode, which I am just getting out of now, and celebrated New Year's Eve, or Novi God as they call it in Russia, with my bestie Alina and her family, and I had the best time ever. Even though I had created a tradition of being abroad for every new year in the last three years, I still had an amazing time. And even though I decided this year I wasn't going to travel as much, I ended up traveling to more countries than I did in the previous year. I think maybe 14 countries? I don't know. It's a lot, okay? It's a lot. I had the best time. It was such an inspirational year for me. It was so amazing and it was very meaningful for me. So I hope you guys had an amazing year as well. I'm really looking forward to 2018 and let's see what this year brings on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year, maniacs!